Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. In this video, it's going to be a review of the Milani Translucent Powder. So I have the shade medium to deep. I've been wearing it for a couple months. I want to let you guys know what I think and whether or not you should get it. So if you want to know more, keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video. I really appreciate it. While you're here, hit the subscribe button that we won't miss out on any great videos that I make about beauty, hair, skincare, technology, travel, so many different topics, all helpful information that you need. Once you hit the subscribe button, then I need you to hit the notification bell that way you'll be the first to know when I post the video or when I go live. So, did that, subscribe, notification bell? Okay, now we're good. So, into this Milani setting powder. So, I like, my favorite setting powders are Laura Mercier Medium Deep, Fenty Beauty, and MAC Studio Fix Powder. Those are the things that I love to set my makeup with the most. But I'm always on the hunt for a good drugstore option. So, I was like, hmm, let me look around. Let me see what's going on with this Milani powder. People have been talking about it. Heard a lot of good things. Has a lot of stars on Amazon. So, I then went to purchase it. So, I purchased, I purchased it from the Milani website. But here nor there, people were talking about it in the streets. So it's really cute packaging. It definitely gets an A for packaging. Little matte lid. Shows you what shade you are on the lid if you leave the sticker. But what it really does well is this inside packaging, right? So if you can see that little plastic separation in the middle, you turn it. And it then opens up to release the product. So um, and not only is it going to be a review, it's going to be a demo for you guys. So I usually take it. Tap, tap, tap it into the lid, just like so. Close it back so it won't make a mess. And then I use my favorite setting powder to apply it. So my favorite setting powder, my favorite not setting powder, brush. So this is the Sephora Pro Feather Weight Powder Brush. This is the best powder brush I was ever created and it's the only one you'll ever need, go buy it. So as you can see, we already got the oil here, oil here, oil here, oil here, oil here, and we need to get rid of it. So, I'm going to show y'all how this thing works. Do y'all see how ashy that looks? <coughs> Oof. It's also a little caustic when you're breathing. But, so... Oh, sorry, apartment noise. Y'all know how it is in these streets. So, that is the powder applied. And this is my issue with it. Do you see the ring light still reflecting my forehead? Now, I don't expect to be completely 100% matte, but this is not it, right? So, maybe it's because I didn't put enough. But I'm really weary with powders. And any powder where you have to like layer it to get desired results, the fact that it starts off a little ashy, I'm a little mm, worried about it. So my thing is, I don't want to say it's completely horrible trash, right? So like, if, well, what's horrible trash is there's not that many shades. I think there's only three, two or three shades, so that's horrible trash. But the fact that um, once you start having to go in there multiple times to get rid of the shine, now you're going to inch towards cakiness. So that's better. And I feel like now I don't look aggressively oily. So, um, as you can see, there's less shine here than there is, like, perhaps here. Because, you know, I don't put it, like, underneath my brows. But, um, it is a good enough drugstore powder. What I'm curious about is there is now this drugstore option where they have NYX or other brands that are going to have more shades based on your skin tone to correlate with the foundation at a drugstore price point. So, if you have combination skin, I mean, this is good enough. I had to double up, but now I feel like I'm inching towards cakey and I kind of like a more natural look. But, um, I'll take it. So, the fact that this was $9.99 is good enough if you're a Fenty 
I go between the shades 400 probably in the winter up to 410, 420. Like that's my range. So if you're those colors, I think that this will be suitable for you. If you're anything, um, this is not deep enough. And it's too, I think it's too deep for the medium girls. Like I don't see that kind of working out, right? So, um, I don't know. It's kind of fits in a weird space. Like it is good enough. Like if you're on a trip and you forgot your setting powder where you're from I would definitely go to CVS or Target and then pick this up real quick but um like I said because uh, there's not that many shades I just it's not life and also it doesn't work as well as Lord Mercier now granted this was nine dollars well nine ninety nine is really ten dollars with tax this was like eleven dollars and Lord Mercier is like fifty so it's kind of hard to compare the two because that is so much more expensive which is why it's flawless and amazing and you just need a little bit and it goes a long way but um this is a good enough drugstore powder like if you needed one i feel like it's really finely milled um it does go on a little ashy at first but you could kind of blend it out and make that work but like i said it's really because it's close enough to my skin tone to do that i feel like it'll be harder if you're closer to the deep side and if you're closer to the medium side i feel like you might look like you're trying to do a little brown face or black face or something negative and that's not what you want but um i will say this is a good enough product um if you're looking for a drugstore powder and you fit one of the few shades that they do have, I would say try it. See if you like it. But um, it's not my favorite out of all my powders. I would say my high-end girls are doing a little better. There's some products where the high-end and the drugstore are neck and neck and I can't tell what's better. This is not one of them. Um, I will definitely stick with Laura Mercier, Fenty, and MAC. But um, if you're on a budget or if you're new to makeup, this is a really great powder. So... Like I said, it's just the limited options for color that kind of suck. So that's why I really like Fenty. Because Fenty, no matter who you are, you can find a setting powder that fits your skin tone. And um, other brand brands need to adopt that trend. Like, I don't know why that hasn't caught on yet. But um, a good enough for $9.99. So um, if you're thinking about getting it, and like I said, your Fenty 200 to 400 to 420 is going to work for you. Anybody darker than that, maybe for like an under eye, but not for full face. So I hope this review was helpful and I will see you next time.